Hi, I'm Norm Stevens, Economic Development Manager for the City of Broken Arrow. And joining me today is Councilor Christy Gillespie. How are you? Good, thanks. Great. Last month, the city started a new series where I update the authority on current and future economic development efforts in Broken Arrow. One of the main topics this month is discussing the misconception about retail recruitment being the only driving force for economic development. You know, a lot of people, and we discuss this uh, in, in the presentation tonight, believe that economic development is all about retail. And that's because we want to get what we want, we don't want to have to go far, and we, if it could be a great price, we want that as well. Have you heard that misconception as, as you talk to the people in our city? Yes, of course, and I think people a lot of times think, well, why don't you just go get them to come here? And, you know, why don't you just tell them or feel like we have control over what businesses um, decide to come here and stay here. And we can do everything we can, but at the end of the day, it's up to the private business owner. So, yeah, I, I do hear that a lot. And, um, but we have to have businesses here in order to give them customers. <laughs> As a city councilor, how have you taken what you have learned in your regular daytime job of selling and turn that into representing the city of Broken Era and representing the people of South Broken Era? Well, I believe everybody sells something. You know, we all, what, no matter what we do in life, we sell it. And if we're going to a movie, we, you know, we come home and tell our family about it, our friends. And, exactly. And so I feel like the, what I sell now, I, it's a piece of capital equipment and it's, it's not a, I don't walk in the door and somebody buys it right then. It's a long-term sale. And, but I have to let them know how is it gonna benefit them because at the end of the day, a business is there to make a profit. And Absolutely. so we have to make sure that we are giving them all the benefits of what it's gonna, what this is gonna do, what our location in BA is gonna do for their business and how maybe we, it'll differentiate them. And so it's, it's something that, you know, we can, I think we all do and that we, Broken Arrow does have something to sell that mm -hmm. is unique that other communities don't have. And I, everyone knows I sell BA all day long. And you know, <coughs> forgive me, our citizens are, are the greatest ambassadors for our city as well. And people always talk about how the citizens in our in Broken Era, they love their community, they love their city, they love their quality of life. And that quality of life is so important for all of us. You've done a great deal over the last 14 months to help build that quality of life. And you've done a lot to make suggestions and, and, and really help drive economic development to where the focus is on the New Orleans Square and South Broken Air. And for that, I want to tell you how much I appreciate it. I appreciate you saying that. And, you know, sometimes I push, push, push so much that I'm afraid that it can be too much sometime. But I want our South Broken Air citizens to be noticed the same. And um, I feel that they are. I really do feel like the city is working hard behind the scenes, even things we don't know. And things are happening. It is fantastic. Yeah. It really is great to be a part of Broken Era. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and hopefully the citizens of Broken Era will watch the video and due to all the great feedback, we decided to pull that section of the video and share it directly with you. Here's the clip. The next one that we're gonna talk about is that economic development is about recruiting retail. In reality, economic development focuses on improving the local standard of living. And it does this through creating an environment. Mr. Spurgeon, if I've heard him say this once, I've heard him say it a dozen times, the city, a municipality, does not create the economic development. What it does is it creates the environment for it to flourish. And that is what is happening in South Broken Arrow. We're there to help grow jobs, retain jobs, business investment, higher wages and more skilled employment, the adequate infrastructure that we've talked about, and an attractive quality of life, which is so very, very important. In the simplest terms, a municipality's economic development objectives are to increase its tax base, create jobs and stimulate the local economy by encouraging new business activities or expansion of existing 
existing business activities. The concept is you build it, they will come as it pertains to retail is a flawed concept. Retail follows jobs. Jobs do not follow retail. Mr. Ted Cundiff, whenever he was introducing Jennifer Conway about the Innovation District, said the very same thing when he was talking about the Innovation District coming into South Broken Era. That Innovation District is going to help create those jobs, which is going to be a driver for retail and restaurant to come around it. One of the primary reasons the City of Broken Era continues to be successful is the fact that we have a strong manufacturing <coughs> footprint those good quality jobs. Broken Air is the third largest in manufacturing as far as any city in Oklahoma. Most people probably do not understand that or had never heard that. There are approximately 300 manufacturing companies in Broken Air alone. They employ approximately 6,200 employees, paying nearly 400 million in salaries with an average wage of $62,000 per year, and that's without benefits. The manufacturing hubs that we have in Broken Era are the things that are going to help push that retail around them. And that's what you're going to see. I told you earlier whenever I was visiting about Sound Mind that it's a great example of that. When we pushed out the information on social media misconceptions, we were nailed real hard on different, well, where's the lack of retail, the lack of restaurants in South Broken Era. Around that same time, we pushed out a deal of the groundbreaking of uh, the Sound Mind Behavioral Hospital, which is going to create over 100 good paying jobs in South Broken Era. And it got very little traction. That's a shame. That's showing that we're still not explaining what we're wanting to get out is that jobs drive retail. Retail does not drive jobs. I look forward to visiting with you again next month and we'll do some more uh, featuring of some of the projects that are going on and I'll produce a couple of more misconceptions. Thanks for watching. To view the entire recording of the August presentation, go to brokenerraok.gov backslash TED.